This is an interesting one, and one that's coming up quite a lot. As I've received like a series of emails. Now, don't don't send me any more emails because I've, I've backed up at hundreds. But this was over a period of say a few months that three people contacted me. One was a gay guy and two women who are both in relationships with people according to how they described them were absolutely psychopathic now they had the usual thing very manipulative they thrived on high drama they whipped up hysteria to call you know to create confusion and sort of like make themselves look like they were in, it was gaslighting basically in charge of a, a particular like sort of riotous situation or domestic dispute or something happening in a workplace and then every single one of these cases the two women and the guy said to me that these people had teddy bear embellishments. By that I meant that in the in the office the guy would have a little small teddy bear on the computer, you know, next to us like a little office desk toy. Or the two women when they first went meant to meet meant went to meet these guys would have a teddy bears or teddy bears in the houses or and it was just so interesting that they were they made specific that these guys turned out to be like uh, complete manipulators the way they described them but the teddy bear thing was very interesting the one of the woman that was married to this one guy for only something like three months it was incredible like he he, he totally would love them or wooed her promised to the world and after three months he, three months he like basically emptied out her bank account but anyway when she first went over to his apartment, which turned out it wasn't his apartment, he got it from somebody, he, he like got a loan of it from somebody else. There was a big teddy bear in the living room. And she, her instant reaction was, oh, he's like a little boy. And that was the other reaction the other two got, the other two told me. That the, and, and I've been, I sat down, I've been thinking about this a lot, say in the last couple of weeks, and I've been looking around at case studies and, just like looking up sort of like criminal psychology reports. And the per the reason why these psychopaths, these particular type of psychopaths, use the teddy bear image or the teddy bear icon was to two two reasons. Firstly, it was to create a sense of trust. Like a man who has a grown man who has a teddy bear can possibly be a bad person. That was on the first level. And the other one was a grown man who associates himself with teddy bear imagery is highly manipulative, particularly of women or people who want to have children. Because what happens is it's, it, 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 they become like a little boy. They're like a, they're like a child. They're like a boy and a little boy. And this, this imposes a sense of helplessness, brings out the kind of maternal, you know, realities in these women and this one this other guy it's one guy the sort of need to protect the sort of like oh he's helpless oh he needs help oh he's a little boy you can trust him how can you trust him he has a teddy bear it was really you know very creepy the way they described it too and the teddy bear thing was sort of strategically placed in a way that you associate the teddy bear helplessness of the little boy and the psychopath as the same thing. It was, um, you know, just like a camouflage. You know, like when, say, a tank goes into battle and it's painted like green, that's and green and, you know, brown to blend in with the landscape. So, you know, the same idea, a teddy bear was like a camouflage. A camouflage with concealing a weapon, and the weapon behind it was a vicious, manipulative psychopath. I mean, you know, a user and abuser. So clever. Now, that's not to say, say, fellas who, you know, there's lots of men, women say things to them, oh, like, he's like a big teddy bear. That's a different thing. That's, that's not, that's, these men usually aren't trying to act teddy bearish. It's just sort of like, you know, it's just a compliment. That's, but the, the psychopathic ones specifically, specifically use the teddy bear as a lure, as a bait, and a smokescreen camouflage. That's the difference. The teddy bear was very strategically placed within the sort of paradigm of the consciousness surrounding the psychopath in order to create this this two-fold assault on their consciousness. One, the psychopath was helpless and like a little boy and needed protecting. And two, the psychopath was trustworthy because he had a teddy bear. Who would possibly harm anyone with a teddy bear? It just goes to show you how devious these bastards are. 
how you know they would take something like that now to okay to, uh, if i walked into a, a grown man's house and he had a teddy bear or else he was associated with teddy bear imagery somehow like he had ties with winnie the pooh or something on it i would uh, me personally i would automatically think i was dealing with like someone who's either he's either got you know he, he's up to something there's no there's no there's no truth there you're getting a no grown man particularly a grown man who say lives in a in a, an urban area or something has a full life they're not little boys you, you can't possibly be a little heart helpless little boy in in the modern world you just can't unless you've grown up in like an amish village somewhere an overprotective mother it doesn't exist the teddy bear now what is that about uh, you know like you know what makes people switch off their critical thinking when they see this teddy bear image and it's it's so powerful, especially too on women, especially say a woman who's a, uh, who say she's was in a previous relationship that was abusive or something or didn't work out, and she has young children and she may be looking for a sort of a substitute father, even in a kind of a virtual sense. The psychopath knows that a teddy bear immediately, uh, you know, it dupes them, it dupes these women, big time, and they know that a lot of women will like fall. For the maternal aspect of his projection in terms of him projecting an image that is of him being a, a sweet innocent you know man when really it, that's when you think about it it's that's impossible i'm not saying they don't have sweet men or good men or sort of like naive men but you, you would never have in a modern sort of urban setting in a western city a man who's like this like innocent little boy it just doesn't exist you know, not by the time he's in his, his early 20s. It's, you, you know the world is not, you know, the around you is not like that. And that need to project is, that need to project it can only come out of a desire to manipulate. So remember that one. If you're dating a guy or you're, you know, you're, you, you're being sort of like charmed by some guy and he's a grown man. And he, he embellishes himself with teddy bears or teddy bear imageries. I had a teddy bear, even worse. Be very, very cautious.